All right, I can't film in my normal spot, but I want to get this done. I want to get this video out there. So here's the intro. Just picked up a comic collection recently. I talked about it on a recent live stream. I, I bought this along with Brian or Big B McFly, the comic guy on YouTube. Uh, it came in five boxes. We're gonna go over the first box here. It's mostly Golden Age, a little bit of Silver Age in there. So it's some cool stuff. There's some rare stuff in here. Uh, I don't know what's in each box as I open them. So uh, so yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be fun checking all these books out together. Let's check out these books. So here we are with box number one of this Golden Age collection that I bought. I'm going to start cutting into this thing. And uh, these were sent to me or, or mailed to me by uh, Brian Bigby McFly, the comic guy. He did a great job packaging everything up. Uh, four of the five boxes have shown up so far. And uh, I'm going to start cutting into them. I don't know what's in each box. I mean, I generally know what's in the collection, right? But I don't know uh, which comics are in uh, each box here. So you got some boxes at Home Depot, packaged everything, you know, real tight here. So we've got a short box inside each one of these, you know, each one of these boxes with bubble wrap and everything around it. So we'll pull this out and let's start checking out these books. All right, so I've got the, the first short box out here. Have not checked inside yet. Uh, basically followed some instructions from another channel. I can't remember what it is offhand. I'll put a, a little text thing in there on how to ship short boxes. Basically pack everything super tight in there. So I'm probably gonna have to pull out a few books to make it so I can flip through things. Uh, but pack everything super tight in there. Make some, some packaging around the outside and then use tape around it and yeah, that's why this was like a brand new looking short box. You know, the, you know, the tape pulls all that off. So, all right, let's start. Let's start checking out these books. And uh, yeah, so yeah, these are these are packed real tight in here. I don't see any damage to the short box itself, which is a great sign uh, that the packaging did its job. But uh, yeah, let's, um, let's see if this. Uh, I don't know if they're flipped one way or the other, but I'm just gonna pull out some of them so that I can actually get into this. So this looks like at least some of the war books are in here. All right, so we've got it. Looks like they flip at some point. All right, so let's start looking through these books. And so after I do this, I bought all new bags and boards and everything, and I'm gonna be rebagging. And when I do that, I'm gonna grade, I'm gonna do page counts, all that kind of stuff. But all right, first one, Captain Marvel Jr., number 47. I'm gonna pull some of these out just so I have some space. Captain Marvel Jr., number 49. Number 51. Marvel Family 14. That's pretty early in the Marvel Family run. Marvel Family number 46. Marvel Family number 81. Captain Marvel Jr. 90. 89. Master Comics number 63. That's a cool cover. Master Comics 130. Master Comics number 70. Battle Squadron. I think this is a no number. I think I would look this one up. This is a, like, it's like a one issue or a one shot. Warfront number three. That's a pretty crazy cover. <laughs> Soldier number eight. War Heroes number one. I think I would look this one up. Yeah, 1942. I mean, pretty early. Fighting Air Force number five. Uh, these ones eventually get into the postcode, but it's cool getting some, some pre-code ones. Okay. Fighting Air Force number three. This is a cool cover. I saw this one in the in the video when, when he was going through the books. 
uh, Air Ace, Volume 2, Number 9. American Air Forces, Number 10. Another American Air Forces, Number 10. United States Fighting Air Force, Number 8. Oh yeah, so there were uh, there were a couple ECs. Yeah, the Ace is High number one. Um, this is I think right when they basically they had to stop doing all the, <laughs> the horror stuff. Uh, but yeah, cool to get a couple ECs in here. I know there's that, and there's maybe a couple others that are in this too. Uh, American Air Forces number eight. This is a cool looking one. I really like this cover. That's cool. Uh, Air Ace Volume Two number seven. We got Wings Comics, number 79. Uh, Wings Comics, number 49. It's a nice looking book. Airboy. Uh, these ones I'll have to look inside to check which, because uh, the Airboy run, it's all like volumes and issues and they'll be on the interior. Uh, but there are definitely a few Airboy books in here that have some value, especially the ones uh, like this one here, where they feature the heap. Um, so I'll definitely be, you know, taking a close look at those. Here's another one, Heap Story. I think this is the most, it's either, uh, so here's, here's Heap. I think this is the most valuable Heap one, uh, this one where it's right on the cover there. Uh, another Airboy. Now this, this is a, one of the, like, cool sci-fi kind of good girl art type cover space. Detective number one. Then uh, my buddy Drew, he says like every Golden Age collection he gets, it always has like B Bar B Riders in it. So we got B Bar B Riders number two. What's that extra B for? That's a typo. I'm going to move these over here. Actually a decent cover for it, uh, B Bar B Riders number four. Got a Blue Bolt volume 10 number two. And Blue Bolt, I don't know which one this is. Uh, volume six, number five. This one, it's too bad it's not the original. So this is, uh, it says Blue Bolt number 103. Um, but with this one, you have to make sure you look at the corner up here. It says Accepted Publications. This is the reprint from like, it's like 1957. The original is in the early 50s and it would say Star Publications up here. Uh, so it's a reprint. There's still some value, but it's not the, uh, it's not the original. Got Mad Hatter number one. Uh, Picture News, Volume 1, Number 3. Headline Comics, no backing board for this one, but Headline, Number 61. Here's one of the uh, Alex Schomburg books that's in here. Fighting Yank, Number 26. So uh, this is, And you can see it's actually got the, uh, the Zella signature on the bottom. That's when Alex was signing his... He would sign his name backwards, so X-E-L-A. So lower grade book, but still a cool one. We got Black Cat number 63. It's a, a heavy book. It's a thick book. Uh, Black Cat number 65. Now, this is one that I wasn't familiar with until I, I looked it up when I, when I was going through the video. Jungle Tales number one, actually pretty decent uh, key book and relatively early Atlas. Uh, so you can see Atlas precursor to Marvel. So Jungle Tales number one. Got uh, Jumbo Comics number 102. Kind of the jungle, good girl art type uh, type covers. Then there are a few books from, from this run here. These ones can have some value. Uh, Cave Girl, uh, number 13. Uh, this one's got a lot of tape, definitely low grade. Cave Girl, number 14. And then uh, Cave Girl, number, number 12. Then we've got, there's a few Tarzan books in here. I think, I think this is maybe issue 8. No, this is issue eight. Uh, but this this one actually has some decent value to it. I don't remember the exact issue number for it. Uh, I'll have to check the uh, you know the inside. We've got issue eight. You know, a couple Tarzan books. Uh, another Tarzan. Again, no number on the outside, so I'll have to check the interior. And the the amazing photo cover Tarzan. <laughs> Um, this, is a, this is a nice cover. We got Jungle Comics number 97. And Jungle Comics number 107. Thunder number 6. Milka, the Jungle Girl. This is actually postcode. 
that's that is a nice cover. I wonder if that's a Maurice Whitman. Jungle Comics number 134. That color scheme always tends to be Maurice Whitman. These kind of like bright colors like that. Uh, then we've got Modern Comics number 52. Uh, these are the ones with uh, Black Hawk. He tends to be in either modern or military comics early on. We've got Modern Comics number 48. Modern Comics number 49. Don Winslow. Not a lot of value in the Don Winslow books. I've had a couple in the past. Uh, Combat KC number 21. United States Marines. I don't know the issue number. Oh, number six. Combat KC 24. Spy Cases 11. We've got Don Winslow 71. Uh, Battle Attack uh, number one, it looks like. So I'll have to check that one out, see if there's some value in that book, being a number one. It's always cool to get number ones. Battle Stories, number four. The Double Life of Private Strong. <laughs> I think this is a, I think this is a non-numbered as well. It's, it's the, I believe it's the first issue. Uh, War Heroes from Ace. You don't see a lot of Ace. That's pretty cool. You don't see a lot from the Ace publications. That's a pretty uh, uncommon publisher to see. GI Combat 27. This is a cool cover. Young Men number 14. Definitely one that I'll be taking a closer look at. You know, you got a pretty, you know, pretty graphic war cover there. Uh, so that's a cool one. GI Combat number 38. Got GI Combat number 27. Number 42. These all look pretty decent condition. I'll have to, I mean, they're, they're postcode, so... I mean, I'll have to take a uh, look at those. This one's a little rougher. Uh, number 21. Number 19. Oh, I didn't realize there was a double of this one. Okay, that's cool. Young Men number 14. So another one. Got a cool date st or, uh, stamp there, too. So yeah, definitely one that I'll, I'll be checking that one out. Men's Adventures number 15. Got G.I. Joe. This one has a little bit of value. I looked up the issue number. I don't remember which one it is now. Oh, yeah, there's uh, issue number six. Uh, then there were a few of these heroics that are in here too. Heroic 83. There's one earlier one. Adventures in 3D, number one. Uh, I don't know if the glasses are in here or not. I'll have to check that out. Got some Bugs Bunny. Uh, Looney Tunes and Merry Mel Melodies, number 94. Metal Men. 23. I think these were the ones that we were taking off the rack at the end. We got to pick 20 books off the rack. That is what these are. Yep. So, uh, Kid Cowboy, number three. Uh, then, yeah, this is that uh, Life with Archie. I don't remember the issue number on this one, but it was just like an underwater cover. Then we had, there were some Turoks, you know, some early Turoks from Dell. We had Joe Palooka, number 11. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty early. This is... I think it's like mid 40s uh, for number 11. Patsy Walker, Miss America, number 68. There's like Millie the Model, you know, it's postcode, but still in low grade, but Millie the Model 92. Uh, Jughead and Archie, or Jughead number uh, 146. Modeling with Millie number 24. <laughs> this is the one. This looks like kind of like a, bruce, a gruesome, like violent cover. It's like these bleeding. I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but calling all girls these like bleeding hearts. So it's kind of more like a magazine. Volume six, number 46, I guess. Hulk 109. This was definitely one off the rack, one of the random uh, kind of Silver Age books. Same thing with here Challengers of the Unknown, number 45. Patsy and Pals. Another Miller the Model. Mystery in Space. Happy Comics. This is the one that has the uh, Frazetta interior art, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I've got a few more books I got to throw in here too. We've got, so these are the ones I had to pull out just to even be able to get the books out of the box. So we have Shadow Comics, volume six, number 12. Then we've got Shadow Comics, Volume 5, Number 2. Hit Comics with Kid Eternity, Number 35. This is definitely a, uh, a more valuable book. Green Hornet, Number 29, with a cool skull cover with that one. 
actually in mylar with this one. But yeah, this is definitely one of the a little bit more valuable books. Uh, Green Hornet number uh, 35. Got Captain Marvel number 129. Captain Marvel number 90. Captain Marvel number 65. Here's another one that this is missing the back cover, but still very valuable book. Weird Comics number 12. The Weird Comics run is super rare. I mean, it's probably going to be, it's going to be a few hundred dollars at least, even missing the back cover, because I believe it says, yeah, it's his front cover only. So I'll have to check that one out, but definitely one that caught my attention when I saw it, just because I, I, I know how uncommon that run is. Uh, then this is a, a really popular cover. It's definitely got some like color lift, maybe water damage, but uh, Marvel Family number 77, definitely a popular cover. Captain Marvel Jr., number 69. War. Uh, I don't know the issue number on this one. I'll have to look it up. See if it's... Oh, War number 9. Up in the corner there. True Comics. I think this might be a Schomburg cover. I've got to look it up. I don't... I don't remember. It was one of these, I think, was. But uh, True Comics, number 45. Star Spangled War Stories, number 51. Attack Comics number three, Fighting Man. Uh, I don't know what the issue number is, but kind of, again, kind of a gruesome cover there. Gruesome War cover from Feral Publications. Got Battle Stories number nine. That's a cool cover. I like that one. Just like the color scheme. Got Warfront uh, number five. Again, that's a just these kind of like pretty gruesome like war covers. Battle Comics, again, I don't know, let's see if it's got the issue number here. I don't see the issue, maybe I'm missing it, but Battle Comics. And then the last one here, we just pulled this one because you had, you know, Betty and Veronica as mermaids, so Archie's Madhouse, um, can, can't go too wrong with those. But, that's the first box, We've got five boxes total to go through. This is one of the ones that's, uh, I would call like the lower value boxes. This is kind of more to me like the throw in type boxes where we hopefully we can get some value out of it, but my focus is on some of the other ones. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. We're gonna go through some more boxes in future videos.